This film is dedicated to all of the hardworking people who load, deliver, and unload fresh produce throughout the world. Let's take a quick look at an overview of the typical fresh produce supply chain. When it is ready, produce is harvested from the grower, then the produce is transported to the cooler, where its field heat is removed to get it to a safe storage temperature. After cooling, it is loaded onto temperature control trucks. It is then delivered directly to the retailer, or more often, it is sent to a regional distribution center where it is consolidated before being sent to retail stores or for food service. Finally, once delivered, the produce becomes available to the consumer. Each of these steps is very important, and to keep the produce fresh, it must move through the supply chain under optimum conditions and as quickly as possible. My name is Emmett. My name is Gia and I'm nine. My favorite color is red. I would be kind of freaked out. Uh, I wouldn't eat it. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Science, and today I'm going to be talking with you about lettuce and other leafy greens, and how you can help keep them alive. That's right, lettuce is alive! And like any living thing, that means it needs to be cared for properly. Today I'll be showing you some very important science type things, so please pay close attention. Knowing this information will help you to create and maintain the ideal environments for keeping lettuce and other leafy greens in tip-top condition. Did you know that when it comes to getting produce to market, the main cause of spoilage is high temperature changes? All living things have a preferred environment. Penguins live at the South Pole. Tigers live in the jungle. Well, you get the idea. Science has shown us that the ideal environment and the single most important thing we can do to keep lettuce alive is to maintain it at a consistent, constant temperature of 34 degrees Fahrenheit. When stored and shipped at a consistent and constant temperature of 34 degrees, lettuce will not only stay alive much longer, but it will also stay fresh, nutritious, and delicious. So remember, when it comes to shipping lettuce and other leafy greens, 34 is truly a magic number. Now you know the importance of keeping lettuce at 34 degrees. But do you know what happens if it isn't kept this cold? Quite simply, it spoils. And when it spoils, everyone's hard work and time and money is wasted. In fact, if the temperature of lettuce and other leafy greens gets too high, we have what is called an event. An event is when the storage or shipping temperature reaches 40 degrees. Because warmer temperatures will speed up lettuce spoiling, this will rapidly reduce its shelf life and quality. If a retailer or buyer checks a load of lettuce when it arrives, and the temperature inside the truck is 40 degrees or more, the load can be rejected. As many drivers know from experience, no one is happy when a truckload of produce gets rejected. Scientists like me invent all kinds of useful and valuable tools to help people do their jobs better. One such tool is the common recording temperature sensor that can be placed throughout a trailer load of lettuce. On the top, the sides, and even sometimes inside a loaded pallet to help dock workers and drivers monitor the temperature of the product. Here are some important tips to remember when you're loading and transporting fresh lettuce. Number one, the warehouse and trucks must be maintained consistently at 34 degrees. Consistency is key because higher temperatures cause lettuce to spoil and at lower temperatures, the lettuce can actually freeze. Number two, trucks should be pre-cooled to 34 degrees before loading the produce into them. Number three, a two-foot gap of even airflow between pallets must be maintained. This allows each pallet of lettuce to be cooled evenly throughout and prevents the lettuce from warming during shipment. Number four, the trailer's temperature must be monitored during loading, transportation, and unloading. 
Nothing is more important than the people who are involved in each link of the supply chain. The first step in the supply chain is the growing of the produce. The most important part of our business is um, ensuring that we have a consistent supply of everything we grow for our customers. That goes from planting on time to harvesting on time. The thing I would say is, you know, once, once a product is harvested in the field, you know, once it's cut, it's starting to degrade. So the, the faster we go from cut to cooling and, get, um, and getting, it, getting it out, the, the better. You know, freshness, quality, that, that's number one. Once the produce has been grown and harvested, we rely on the people who load the trucks to take good care of the lettuce. We have a cold room, well, a dock, loading dock that is right to the temperature. So when we bring the product out, it doesn't raise in temperature. When we load it on the truck, it's maintained that temperature into that van. And if uh, we send it at the right temperature, which is usually 34 to 36 degrees, we prefer uh, it, it will take a longer time for the decay to start on it and we can ensure that the product is arriving at the destination the freshest possible. So as soon as we can get it out of the field, out of the cooler, on the dock, in the truck, the truck driver has more time to pick up his other loads and head to his destinations to drop it off. Once the truck is loaded, keeping the lettuce at its proper temperature and getting it to its destination quickly becomes the responsibility of the truck driver. The most important thing is to pick up on time, maintain proper temperature within my reefer unit, and deliver on time. But I make certain that the uh, inside of my trailer is clean from the last load. Uh, find out if I need to pre-cool the trailer and make sure that's done. The best thing to prevent spoilage is a timely delivery and the, make sure that the temperature is exactly correct. Last, but certainly not least in the supply chain, are the consumers who buy and enjoy the lettuce you deliver. Let's see how the kids are doing now that they have some lettuce that is alive. Let's finish up with a quick quiz to review what we've learned. Question 1. What is the main cause of spoilage during the transportation of lettuce and other leafy greens? That's right. The answer is high temperature change. Question 2. At what temperature should lettuce and other leafy greens be shipped? That's correct. The answer is 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Question 3. Does pallet spacing matter when loading a trailer of lettuce? The answer is yes, it matters quite a bit. And the ideal space between pallets to ensure even airflow and consistently cool temperatures is two feet. Question four, what can truck drivers do to contribute to delivering a fresh load of lettuce? That's correct. There are actually three things the driver can do. First, ensure that the truck is at 34 degrees before it is loaded. Second, see that there is two feet of space between pallets. And third, monitor the temperature sensors in the trailer regularly so the lettuce remains at 34 degrees. Well, we've covered quite a bit today, and I hope you've enjoyed our time together as much as I have. Don't forget that you have our deepest gratitude for taking care of the fresh produce you're loading and carrying. If it's fresh, nutritious, and delicious, we'll know you're the reason why. This is Dr. Science wishing you open roads and a safe trip. <laughs>